Hey guys, what up? It's your boy Khan, TDK, Mr. So Real, and in today's video, I'm going to fulfill a request. I had a request from Don asking, uh, what assault weapon were you using in the video, and what mods did you have on it, bro? So, Don, shoutouts to you. Thanks for the question. Uh, in terms of what assault rifle I am using... I'm going to get into that in today's video, and I'm going to tell tell you what uh, mods I'm using on my sniper as well, and have a little bit of a look into my build. It's nothing amazing, but it's what I use. So, let's get going. Alright guys, so I was asked about which assault rifle I was using and the attachments. So why don't we get into this and we can break it down. Alright, now the weapon that I am using is the... Da -da -da -da. Forgive those purples. It is the Lightweight M4. The Lightweight M4 is a very good assault rifle. Uh, the VLOAC is also a very good assault rifle. And the... Uh, ACR is also a very good assault rifle. I just happen to get a pretty decent roll on this. This has 18% enemy armor damage, plus it has accurate, which gives me 48% more accuracy. It has self-preserved, which is one of my favorite talents that gives 3% uh, heal for the critical hits that you get. So the damage that you deal, 3% of the, the damage you get back as health. Unforgiving. When you are missing a segment of your life bar, uh, you get to do more damage, basically. And one segment gives you 10% more damage, and two segments missing gives you 20, 24% more damage. So, this isn't the greatest roll. It isn't like a deadly, brutal type roll. But it is a decent roll for an assault rifle. And it's one that I like. It has a base damage of 10.5k. Now, you might be asking, well what are the attachments that you have which is what he asked and let's get into the attachments so the attachments that I have the first one is muzzle break with all of the assault rifles you want to have as much stability as you can possibly have because they jump around a lot more than SMGs used to so with the assault rifles I try to stack as much stability as I can get uh, this has 36 regular stability and 38.5 horizontal stability on the muzzle brake. You can probably get crit hit chance and all that other stuff if you want, but I would prefer to be a lot more accurate with a weapon like this because its accuracy is quite questionable. So having good accuracy, having good stability is something that you may want to invest in so that you land your shots and you can kill your enemy as quickly as possible. The next thing we have is our underbarrel. The underbarrel I have uh, stability again for 36.5% and horizontal stability for 48.5%. More stability the better in my opinion for this type of weapon. Now for some people they like to have weapon damage. For some people they go for crit hit chance and all that other stuff. Personally I like to have rate of fire on my magazines. My magazines for this weapon 26.3% rate of fire increase and a 104% magazine size help to keep this thing in check when it turns to I guess just putting things down having all those extra bullets and having that rate of fire is great for me as you can see the RPM on this is 1074 some people think that it's overkill to have that kind of RPM but personally because this game is so damn laggy I would like to have as much damage on an enemy as possible, as quickly as possible, because you never know when your bullets will turn into ghost bullets and then you end up not doing any damage at all. Uh, I really s struggle with the lag in this game. I have no idea why there's so much lag, but if I can down my enemies as quickly as possible, that means that they can't lag kill me in return. Now, for my scope. I have a 23% headshot damage scope which gives me 8% crit hit chance and this is pretty good uh, in terms of headshot damage and it works pretty well for me because the crit hit chance helps with self preserved. Now if you want to see how this weapon fires, 
take it to the range and if I just put it on the body and hold it down and that's without holding uh, the trigger at all if I go for the body pretty consistently hit the body no problem if I go for the head at this range it shouldn't be a big problem easy peasy no real problems there so try to get something with stability um, these types of weapons do drift a little bit so that's something to keep in mind if you're going to shoot an AR something especially this fast you may want to try and burst fire it a little bit give it a little burst like shoot it like that shoot it like that much easier to control and you can line your shots up a bit more accurately if you're having some trouble shooting your AR now as a little bonus side note some of you know that I love sniping and sniping is my main thing that I love doing in pretty much all shooting games so I wanted to give you a heads up also on my uh, M1A if you haven't seen my other video on the M1A about attachments you can check that out I'll put something up here uh, you can check that out it goes over the attachments that I used to have on my old M1A. This is a different M1A, but here are the attachments that I'm using now. Most of them are level 34 or 32, sorry, 32 level attachments. Uh, and I'll just go over this very quickly because I was only asked about the AR. So this has stability at 36.5%, 7% crit hit chance. Uh, stability at 36.5%. 53% horizontal stability. My magazine has 92.5% plus 13.5% weapon damage. My scope has 23% headshot damage and 21% optimal range. Optimal range is not really ideal for me personally. Uh, on the scope, I would rather have critical hit chance or critical hit damage. That would be much better. But hey, you get what you can, and this is what I got. Uh, my other scopes from the past. I can't really remember what I have, but you can check out that video and see what other attachments. And in that video, I actually go over uh, in quite a bit of detail about attachments and how they are beneficial for you when it comes to your sniper rifle. So if you're a sniper and you're just getting into the game and you'd like to know how to deck out your sniper rifle, if you get an M1A, then check that video out and that should help you out quite a bit. Uh, I don't have the greatest build as you can see by the numbers so I won't really go into that in this video but if you are interested in knowing about the build and a breakdown of what I have and what I use there are two different uh, builds that I kind of swap between uh, this is the one with the century set uh, but yeah if you're interested in knowing about this and my other build leave a comment in the comment section don't forget to hit that like button as it helps the channel grow and it helps keep uh the videos out there for people to see it uh thanks you guys for all of the support thanks for the comments keep the comments coming and until the next video i am con tdk mr so real i'm out